Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be giving you my top picks for the best multiplayer cars. And Asphalt 9 of course. So, to begin with, I'll be talking about cars for the beginners. So I'll, I won't be mentioning cars like the Jesco or the Hurricane Evil, Evil Spider. I just wanted to clarify that so people won't go down to the comments saying, Oh, you forgot the Hurricane and you forgot the Jesco. This is the best car ever. I spent $100 on the Devo DS3. <laughs> okay, so please don't do that. Again, as I said, this is a beginner's guide. So let's just start it up. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is from my experience too, so maybe you could have a different experience with the cars. Also, I drive manually, so I don't, I don't know how the car would perform with touch drive if you use touch drive. Another recommendation is just not to stick with the things I say. Try to use other cars, try different methods, or stuff like that. But here are my top picks. So for the D-Class, Uh, I personally use the DSE Tensei, the 3 star DSE Tensei, the maxed DSE Tensei because it's re just really easy to max out and for me uh, it did get me into Silver League really quickly I just had to play like 2-3 two, two, races I mean it was pretty easy for me but for Slipstream I would use the Mustang I don't know, I, I just usually use the Mustang when there's Slipstream season so Uh, another car I would use would be the Lotus Elise. I mean, I think it's a better version of the DSE Tensei because he has great nitro efficiency, brilliant handling. It's it's, I mean, it's kind of average top speed, 282 kilometers per hour, but it's overall a really good car for multiplayer. And yeah, those are my top picks for the um, for the D class, the DSE Tensei, the Lotus Elise and the Mustang for slipstream season. Now moving on onto C-Class. great c-class for uh, multiplayer such as the dodge viper acr the dodge viper has a really good stats but before i get into this i would like to talk about the two kinds of cars that are in there are in asphalt 9 so the first kind of car is the car that, ha that does have really good top speed but it has really good everything else an example of this is the lotus elise or the dse tensei which don't have the best top speed but the other stats make up for it. Now the opposite of this cars is the opposite of course. It's one of those cars that have really good top speed but really bad everything else. An example of this car is the TVR Griffith and the Cadillac CN concept. Now going on with this two kinds of cars, we're looking at the Dodge Viper ACR, which is one of those cars that has really good everything else but average not great top speed now moving on up in the class we have the Pininfarina H2 speed which is one of the best handling cars in C class now this car is really really used in multiplayer uh, I see them a lot usually and it's just a really good car to drive overall there's nothing more to say about the car it's a pretty good handling car uh, it has good um, nitro efficiency pretty good 
top speed and average acceleration. Now my last C-Class car would be the Acura NSX 2017, not the new one, not the Evo one, the one that came out when the game came out, the red one. This car actually has one of the best accelerations in the whole game, so that means it's really good, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It can get up to top speed really quickly and it can get you out of the corners really easily after a sharp turn or a 90 degree turn. The other stats are just average, they're not great, but what really makes this car stand out is its top speed. Oh, I forgot to mention my slipstream car. I use the Arenar Hussara 33. But I know most of the beginners won't have an Arenero Hazard 33 unless you played the Drive Syndicate. Uh, I usually use the Acura NSX or just the Dodge Viper ACR. Uh, I usually don't get first place, but I can get second or third place. Now, moving on, on to B class. We have the Ferrari F12 TDF, which it's just a really good car. It has the better better top speed than the Chevrolet Corvette or the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. It has average acceleration and great natural efficiency. But the only thing holding this car back from being a really great multiplayer car, it's his handling. Like. If you try to drift in this car, you will lose so much speed, everyone will get ahead of you. Everyone will get ahead of you, and that's not good in a racing game. But I, I believe the top speed and the really great natural efficiency make up for that. And yeah, it's just overall a pretty good car. Now, another car I would use, which is really, really used in multiplayer for Gold League, is the Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport, which got nerfed in past updates. Uh, to lower its top speed but people still use it because you know why he has really good handling really good nitro efficiency and pretty good acceleration and it's one of those cars that had, doesn't have the best top speed but good everything else most of the tracks in asphalt 9 are compatible with high handling cars so that's why this car is really used a lot now for slipstream season, I usually use the, that Cadillac CN concept, which has a high speed of 383 kilometers per hour, which is really fast, but not so good everything else. I just use it for slipstream season, but if you learn how to drive it properly, you, you can get some pretty good wins in the Cadillac CN concept. But it's you just have to really learn how to drive that car. It's not the best car ever. Now moving on into A class. Or Platinum League. I would recommend the McLaren P1, which has again one of the best accelerations in the whole game. Uh, yeah, it just has, it's just like the Acura NSX, it doesn't have, it, the only thing that stands out of this car is its acceleration stat. And it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good acceleration, uh, it's one of the best in the game like I said. But yeah, that's the only thing that I can say about this car. I haven't, I've never been in Platinum League, so I can't, I can't say that, I, that I've won with this car in multiplayer, but I've seen many people get wins with it. Another car I would use would be the Lamborghini Aventador SV, which is, to be honest, just a, a good car. Uh, I don't think, uh, uh, it's a balanced car, just like the Pininfarina H2 Speed. It, have, it doesn't have the same handling, but it's just average. It's, it's, it's good. It's good for multiplayer. That's all I can say. It's pretty good for multiplayer. And if you actually play the game every day and you put time into it, you could get the VLF Force One V10, 
which is just a uh, mid-tier A-class car and it's just really good for multiplayer. Now moving on onto S class. For S class, uh, we have the Ferrari FX XK, which for me handles really good. I've never been to Legend League, but I've tried the car and I have it, and it's just really good for me. He yeah, has really good handling. That's that's one thing I can say. Another car would be the Icona Volcano Titanium, which is just a really good car. I've been saying really good cars, but they are they are really good cars. Just try them out when you get. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using them in Legend League because most of the time in Legend League you will only find people that use. B and A class cars, you won't usually find maybe a Jesco or a Tuatara. So I would recommend just staying with the B or A class cars. But the definitive car I would recommend would be the W Motors like in Hypersport, which if you didn't know there are only seven of these cars around the world. Which just makes it a really special car. And the like in Hypersport, it's really it's, it has really good handling. Uh, I don't know about top speed, I don't have many S-Class cars, but it's just, it's, it handles really good, the nitro efficiency is pretty good, it's, it's not bad, but it's not great, but it's good. The top speed, I don't, again, I don't know the top speed, but it's just a really good balanced car, it's just really good, uh, I would highly recommend it for anyone that can get it. Mm, yeah guys, those are my recommendations for multiplayer cars for beginners in Asphalt 9. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is only my recommendation. Uh, I think you should try out different cars. Try, as again, as I said, try different methods. Uh, I really don't know how the car would perform if you use touch drive, so just try everything. Just try everything you can. Don't just stick with the things I say. I'm not the best player in Asphalt 9 in the world, but I am a pro. So, let's try out different things. Don't just stick with the things I say. And saying that, uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see y'all in the next video.